Amy Robach's name has been removed from the anticipated TV comeback program. After being fired from ABC for having an affair with her co-host, TJ Holmes, Amy Robach is prepared to make a comeback on television. Although Holmes, 45, joked he might have gotten a new job, she and Holmes had largely been out of the spotlight in recent employment news. The GMA3 co-hosts recently made their relationship on social media official, suggesting that they remain together after their termination. Initially, 50-year-old Robach would purportedly oversee a show on a more recent cable network with her name in the show's title. Her TV comeback, however, has just undergone a shift because that show was cancelled, according to current rumors. Now, she will be joined by other people in a recently revealed program scheduled to air on the News Nation cable network. Has Amy Robach's News Nation return program been cancelled? According to an exclusive Daily Mail source, News Nation's Robach & Co. will no longer feature former ABC GMA co-host Amy Robach. She will instead appear on the On the Record replacement program. Even though her name isn't in the show's title, she will serve as its primary anchor, according to the rumor. According to reports, the news program will have Robach as well as a rotating panel of co-hosts once every week. News Nation wanted less individualization for On the Record, which is why this is the case. The identities of those additional co-hosts have not yet been made public as of this writing. Chris Steierwalt, a former Fox News analyst, and Chris Cuomo, a former CNN commentator, are two more people who work for the network. Both people had their connections to their respective networks cut off for various reasons. The station also has hosts Dan Abrams, Ashley Banfield, and Elizabeth Vargas, the Chicago-based news nation, formerly known as Superstation WGN before changing its name to WGN America, is owned by Nexstar Media Group. It reopened in 2021 as a 24-hour news channel. At the moment, it broadcasts opinion programs in the evening. According to the About page of the network website, it is America's source for engaging and unbiased news, which reflects the full range of perspectives across the country. Critics criticize News Nation for adding Robach. There was some opposition to the news that Robach would be joining News Nation. According to Daily Mail, insiders stated several network employees believed the appointment of Cuomo, Steierwalt, and Robach made the network a dumping ground for personnel let go from other networks. There's no denying Amy's brilliance, but one insider claimed that the company should be pursuing talent who haven't been fired from other networks since Amy has too much baggage. TJ Holmes, Robach's current partner and previous co-host on GMA3, was initially supposed to return to the show as her co-host. Soon after after they were let go by ABC, rumors of their joining the channel started to circulate. Holmes was left out of the conversation, though, as Robach received more attention for her own show, which has since altered. In a recent post on social media, Holmes described his hashtag New Morning Commute while displaying the front portion of the bike he was riding. He didn't specify if that was a commute for a new job, though. There may soon be information concerning Holmes' most recent professional relocation. In the meanwhile, it's assumed that News Nation hired Robach as part of an effort to boost viewership in order to compete with rival news outlets CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC. Robach reportedly signed a $1 million contract to appear on the network, adding her name to the network even if it isn't in the name of her show.